Well, hello there, guys, and welcome to World War I Tank Simulator. Actually, no, <clears throat> the name of this game is Armored Battle Crew, and my parrot comrade in the background really has a lot to say about it. I mean, this is really cool. I have to say, I have a lot of respect for developers that take such a niche topic and go with it. You see so many games these days about World War II, World War II first-person shooters, World War II strategy games. Hardly anyone tackles World War I, and for someone to also tackle the armored warfare aspect of World War I is just exceptional. Now, I definitely recommend everybody play the tutorial mission. It'll give you kind of an understanding of how the game works, uh, things like that. Um, and we are going to go ahead and take a look here. Now, one game that this reminds me of, although I think there are certainly quite a few differences, is Bomber Squadron. For anybody that's played Bomber Squadron, this game is similar, but in a more tank aspect and a sort of a point control aspect that you'll see as we play. Now, we're going to be taking the Mark V male, and I have all these awesome guys on the team. I've got Albert, I've got William, Desmond, uh, Francis, and I believe I have some additional characters that I haven't seen here, uh, like Singh. Um, who, uh, interesting, uh, interesting, uh, sort of, uh, I guess he's, uh, oh, what's the name of those, um, the special forces, uh, the Sikh special forces, I can't recall. In any case, he seems pretty cool. We can also change the actual armor itself, adding different light armors, top armors, etc. as we proceed through the game. There is a paint aspect for those of you interested in, you know, sort of painting up your tank to give it, you know, your, your own kind of feel. Personally, I'm partial to just the standard uh, default skin here, but, you know, we're, we're doing a let's play, or we're doing a video here at least, so let's go with just the forest. A little more festive, I guess. Uh, also at the arsenal, guys, this is where you purchase new guns. Right now, we're just using a six-pounder. Uh, we're also using a Hotchkiss for our machine gun, but there's a lot of other things we can get here. We're using the Hotchkiss MK1MG. We can get a Vickers, a Lewis, uh, a 1.59-inch Vickers, a sm small flame projector. I mean, the possibilities here are quite vast, as you can see. When you press X, we can look inside the tank. When you press X again, you come back outside and get this really cool visual from the outside of the armor itself. Now let's jump into battle and see how things go, my friends. Now we can do the campaign. We can do a custom battle, the playground, where we just test our vehicle. And, of course, what I recommend, the tutorial. We're going to be going into the campaign here, my friends. First mission is out of the trenches. The Pear Trench, named after its shape, is an enemy stronghold situated on a gentle slope southwest of Hamel. The location provides a superior vantage point and our enemies a tactical advantage. We must take it. So, our jobs are pretty much to clear barbed wire barricades uh, and anti-personnel mines, uh, support the infantry, and supplies will be parachuted in to resupply the infantry troops. We want to secure them before the enemies do. The biggest danger right here is going to be AT mines and AT guns. And I'm not really sure. I haven't dealt with mines yet um, in the tutorial. I'm not really sure how to deal with a hitting a mine. So let's just hope. All right, go. boys. Battle AT has boys, begun. Let's jump right into the fight. We're planning for an infantry assault to take back the pair trench. This is going to be an important job, and we can already actually see some anti-tank guns there. Um, we do need to clear a path for our infantry, too, and that probably means running through here and getting rid of the barbed wire. So let's get into it, guys. Let's get to our first battle and see if we can't get a victory. Now, I want to also watch out for these. Crush these anti-personnel mines, too. Okay, so interesting. It looks like our tank can run over anti-personnel mines, i.e. anti-infantry mines. Just can't run over any of the big anti-tank mines. So let's hope that we know what we're doing here. Let's get started, guys. And first thing we want to do is we want to get our guys set up in the tank. So I'm going to get this guy, William, on the machine gun. I'm going to make Albert a driver. Um, Desmond's going to go on the six-pounder here on the right side. And Francis on the left will take Ernest, put him on this machine gun, and Joe... He's got to be John. I, that end disappeared. I was like, come on, Joe, really? Um get them on the guns and prepare for battle now people are reloaded at this point we've got uh enough ammunition to last i believe we really just want to go ahead and knock out all of these mines so i'm hoping that that right there is an anti-personnel mine but it might be an anti-tank mine we'll find out let's go Here we go guys i like how they placed it right under the barbed wire there and what we have to do is get enough momentum here to break through. We can also just fire through uh, with one of our guns, but that just doesn't seem all too fair, don't you think? So here we go, guys. Let's crush that. All right, we seem to be okay. Yeah, we're fine on armor. Uh, so those are definitely the anti-personnel mines here. Let's just get rid of them, roll over all these bad boys so that our glorious infantry doesn't get destroyed by them. There we go. 
And maybe, I'm hoping it's just clear a simple path, because if we have to destroy this entire area, it's going to be a bit frustrating, don't you think? We can also go ahead and use the middle mouse button to get a better vantage point. Uh, kind of look down here, and that's what I'm going to do here. Definitely want to crush that one. Come on. Come on. There we go. We're slowly breaking through. Let's take a look over there on the left. I want to make sure no rounds are coming in. It looks like just our artillery going out, and that certainly makes me somewhat content. Forward, boys. I'm going to take a look at the driver. I wonder if there is... Oh, there is a floored ability. So this is um, one of the abilities the driver has, but much like Bomber Squad, all of your crew have these sort of, you know, specific abilities uh, that they excel at. And as you play the game, you can unlock more and more and more. Now, by the way, I'm starting to see those anti-tank mines now. I can see the difference for sure. They all look so big uh, until you actually get right up to them and you see, no, these are definitely much bigger. Let's go ahead. Boom. Boom. Maybe going downhill, we'll have some more luck getting rid of this barbed wire. Oh boy, we have a problem, guys. Right now, the engine is on fire. That is a big problem. Let's make sure that Desmond goes ahead. He's got his little fire extinguisher uh, to put out the flames. We might even need to repair this engine. This is not a good situation. I'm not even sure if it's safe to continue using it um, while we're repairing it. In other words, to continue forward. But we did it anyway, so what can you do? Let's turn this way. Here we go. i to be very careful at this point because I'm starting to uh, forget where those bigger mines are. So, here we... Oh, come on! Here we go. One AP mine, I think. So, we just have to destroy one more of these mines, four more pieces of bar barbed wire, and we should be good. I'm going to go ahead. I might, if I can get the driver to continue his uh, skill to floor it, I'm going to do it. Or I could also give power to the tracks. Uh, but this only really gives turning speed. All right, the time has come. Support the infantry and capture the Pear Trench. It has come, boys. We need to advance. It's probably the most frightening time for any sort of tank team. But we're going to go ahead and push forward. And as you can see, I've gone ahead and gotten back to this view, which I really enjoy. We also, one thing I really like, it's a small thing, but the fact that you can actually see your tracks. There we go. Our boys are opening up on the trench. God, it must be so good for the infantry to know that they've got a tank on their side. It also puts a lot of uh, a lot of pressure on us. Come on, boys! Good shooting. That's got to be an AT gun up there. Gotta be careful as we advance. Also, try to knock out as many of those mines as possible. Right now, I'm just letting our machine gunners do some work, um, as well as our six pounders. Now, the thing with these tanks, the weird thing. Oh, that was a bad hit. Is that pretty much with these six pounders? Um, you've got to be like pretty much turn to the side uh, to get a good shot. You've at least got to be turned like this, so imagine the target is right there. You've got to be like this to be able to get a shot. So that's what we're doing right now. I've also spotted the enemy AT there. I really want to kill that. Really, really want to kill that enemy AT. Now, for those of you wondering, and I'm sure many of you are, yes, you can do uh, you can control the gun yourself in the game, which is pretty cool. It's got a morphine time perk. I'm not sure what that's about. Uh, we're using a six-pounder. I think that's enough, but maybe we want to actually switch our ammo type uh, to shrapnel and see if we can't target the enemy from this distance. we we'll definitely take out some of the crew there, but I don't think it's going to be as effective. We'll have to see. Well... I feel more comfortable with the armor piercer, even though we're not really facing that many or any tanks in this battle. I'm still, I still think that's a better idea. All right, let's keep going, boys. Artie, Artie, enemy zeroing in on you. My goodness, I don't really want to call Artie right now. I see, I see the enemy's Artie. The enemy is dropping Artie on me. My God, let's get out of here, boys. We're still continuing to the Pear Trench. It's not easy though. I think this is actually the official. Pear trench area. Could also just be a repair area. So let's take a look here. We'll also get a look inside the tank and get appraised of the current situation. Come on, Francis. Give him hell. We're going to have to grab some ammunition for some of these machine guns pretty soon. Let's keep on going, boys. 
I see the pad trench. I do see it. We're gonna go ahead and push over there to the pear trench. I think so far we're fine on ammunition, but we're running low. So, uh, over here, I'm gonna grab William from the frontal MG. Go get some ammunition, William. Yeah, it's about time he gets, goes and gets some ammo. Uh, let's grab Francis here. We're gonna have to go get a bigger shell. This is definitely a dangerous time, but we just have to keep on pushing it. In fact, we'll pop some smoke. Let's go ahead and just get the smoke up. Hopefully provide us with a little bit of protection. And with William, we'll get back to the MG. With Francis, we'll get back to that baby right there. Get on him, boys. Reload and get back to work. Here we go. And one thing we could try here... Oh, I want to be very careful for the with the AT guns. Um, we do have something to call in artillery ourselves. And I'm going to go ahead and try to do just that. He's actually just repairing right now, and I don't mind him doing that. Uh, let's see if we can call the RD in here with John. Alright, so we can actually get a small supply drop, smoke, a heavy rifleman squad we can call it. Wow. Um, I think I'd rather shell a target with mortars, so let's do that. We're gonna call in mortars on that target right there. Alright, back on the gun, lads. Wait a minute, wait a minute, we gotta fire. We've gotta fire. Get over there. Being in a tank is not easy, guys. I thought you would think it would be, but it just isn't. Let's go. Let's go. We're gonna get John over here. Get him on the machine gun. Get them all, boys. Get them all. See some of the smoke from our rounds actually causing some damage there. But we need infantry to actually capture this location. So for now, we just have to keep on powering through. Did he really run out of ammo that quickly? Come on, man. Uh, let's get him. Come on, William. Get, get the damn machine gun ammo. Let's turn over here so that John can actually get the shots. Get him, boys. Give him hell, John. If need be, we'll go ahead and control these ourselves. But for now, we really just need our boys to keep on firing. Put out the fire. All right, come on. Give him hell. For king and country. We've got the Hotchkiss. Obviously, if we can improve how we play, uh, get better at this game, then we can get much better machine guns. The Hotchkiss is pretty standard. It still gets the job done. Um, and even the French, I believe actually it was a French gun if I'm not mistaken. I know the French had Hotchkiss machine guns in World War One, but I always associated it with an English company, so probably wrong on that. Shame on me. Alright, let's see. Come on, William, get back to the machine gun. Let's see what the situation looks like. It looks like the enemy is almost destroyed. Uh, there's a few more enemies in the area few more Germans there that I think we can take out. And it looks like what they've been launching at us is anti-tank grenades, if I'm not mistaken. So we are capturing the pear trench currently, uh, not without a hell of a fight. Uh, let's make sure Ernest has enough ammunition here. Go grab a belt, Ernest. Reload. Still got a few of them. Oh boy, look at that. We've got enemies advancing. Enemies advancing for sure. I believe they're going to be advancing from that location. Let's make sure everybody has enough ammo. I want to give Ernest some even more ammunition. Pick up another ammo box. John needs one too, and John's health is not doing well. Go, Desmond. Get on the gun. Now, we're going to actually switch the rounds here to infantry. And I need to switch the shell to uh, shrapnel. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Come on, guys. We're so close to taking the pear trench. We need the infantry to fight with us here. And as you can see, I, I figured John would need even more ammunition here. We might want to turn the tank around so that we can use that other machine gun. So use that ability, the power to the tracks. We'll also floor it so that the enemy can't get a uh, sort of sight lines on us. But it looks like all of these boys need to reload these guns. So while we're in this lull in the fighting, I'm going to immediately grab more ammunition. Grab some more, grab some more. Come on, boys, get to your places. Come on, lads. I think we're pretty close to capturing it, but I believe we could have captured these other locations. I could be wrong on that. 
Um, again, I'm very new to the game, but I think that's one of the po one of the abilities you can do. Then we would have gotten a free repair, that sort of thing. Uh, but since this is one of the sort of first battles, it's, it's a bit easier, I believe. Another really cool thing, I don't know if you guys have noticed, look at the tank. Have you noticed anything interesting? We've actually got some damage to the tank itself, and I really like that they put that in. So we've actually got two shell holes here, uh, or maybe uh, bullet holes, something like that. Now, one issue we have is we're running out of fuel. Uh, I'm not sure if we can go and get fuel at one of those locations, or maybe we just stay put and uh, pretty much, yeah, stay put. Um, hope that the fuel comes at some point. Now, one problem here, we've got an enemy tank. Uh, we want to go ahead and take it out. I hate traversing this trench line. But let's see if Ernest can get a shot. There we go, Ernest. Francis, sorry. Francis is our main gunner. Come on, Francis. We've got to switch our ammo. That's right, to high explosive. Sorry, armor piercing. Right through the side of that bastard. Let's send these Huns back to hell, boys. Another shot, come on. Reload the round. Four seconds till reload. We can do this. We can do this. Oh no, you sneaky little. Keep on going, keep on going. Give him hell. Bounced right off him, but it certainly did some damage there. And now we're just waiting for the gun to reload once again, guys. Looks like about a 10 second reload. Of course, we can take that off. You know, if we just upgrade the gun, get a better uh, actual turret right here. That will come with time. That will come with time for sure. Well, he's already on fire. I don't think his life expectancy is very high. Let's hope that the next shot will blow him up completely. And I'm actually going to go for the rear here. I still don't know um, in this game if uh, the side of the tank that you hit matters. Um, certainly in World War II tank games, that's th that's something to consider. And it probably should be something here, but I, I don't know if it is. Look at that. We can again see where the round hits. I don't know why I really like that... Um, that bonus. We're gonna get a ballistic bonus here as well, and I'll get the Hawkeye bonus. We might as well go ahead and use everything we've got, and we've just destroyed him. Look at that. That's a dead tank if I ever saw one. But we're no closer to capturing the trench, guys. We've still got fighting to do. Jerry is still here. Get him, boys. Get these Germans out of my trench. Another thing we can do is potentially go ahead and get some health for this guy. So we're going to go ahead and get Desmond. I don't know if they can heal themselves, though. That's that's the question. I think so. Yeah, nice, nice. Desmond can heal himself. All right, let's get him on the gun. I'm temporarily going to move this guy to the other machine gun, uh, Ernest, but I'll pick up some rounds on the way. And it looks like we're almost out of ammo, even in our ammo chest. So this is a serious situation. All right, here we go. Kill these bastards. Get that belt in, lad. Come on. Don't forget, my friends, that if you enjoy this video, if you want to see some more of this action, hit that like button, drop a comment down below. Of course, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And most importantly, follow me on Twitch. It's the same name as here, just AgrippaMaxenius. Twitch TV slash AgrippaMaxenius easy enough to remember and uh, a lot of stuff to do there man we we're really trying to do just consistent live videos I'd prefer to make that my full-time location uh, eventually so yeah please do join me there if you appreciate the content we got all those Huns so I see that the capturing is increasing in speed uh, obviously the more infantry that enter the area um, but also, like, the less enemy resistance. I like that. Now, I'm not sure if this game, and I'm almost certain the game doesn't have a multiplayer component, but with this, uh, control point situation here, I could see it doing pretty well with a multiplayer component, honestly. I don't think it would suffer for it. I think it would actually be pretty neat. The one thing we've got is this... Whoa! Jerry, uh, armor right here. I should have mentioned we also have a slow-mo button, uh, but I rarely use it, to be honest. A Jerry um, ET gun right there. It looks like we just took out one of them. There's another one out there in the distance. Sneaky little enemy anti-tank weapon. Oh boy. Oh boy. I see more infantry. Oh boy. Ernest. Gotta be ready to fire. Oh! Oh my goodness. The machine gun is damaged. Machine gun is damaged. 
We gotta get the hell out of here. We gotta get the hell out of here. Uh, we're gonna switch to shrapnel infantry. Nice. Look at how quickly that shrapnel took that guy out. Nonetheless, it's gonna take a lot longer to reload. Let's let Ernest do his job here. Oh boy. I don't like that sound. The sound of steel crunching is never a good sound to a tank driver, unless we're talking about the opponent's tank. Whoa! That one bounced right off. And it looks like we're pretty close, guys, to taking the location. I still am seeing a few blips on the screen, but I think it's mostly that enemy gun and maybe one enemy infantry uh, somewhere in here. I don't know where he is. He's hiding pretty damn well. Okay, come on, Francis. Pick up some gun ammo. Gun ammo, really? Ripper. Heavy ammo box. I like that. Now, the command, point here, the command points here, we could have called in um, more machine gun squads, more mortars. Oh, sorry, guys. More mortars, etc. Uh, we just didn't do that. Pair trench secured. Our flyboys are dropping in tea supplies. I've mocked them with green smoke. All right. Well, now we've got to go and grab all three supplies before the Germans disrupt our tea party. Now, I didn't agree to this. I didn't agree to this, but you know what? You got to do what you got to do. At least that's what I've heard. Let's get John over here. All right, let's go get that tea. Come on, boys. A lot of our guys are running out of ammunition. It is running low all the way throughout. Uh, William needs to get up to the front. Let's grab the tea. And let's see if he can't grab it. Should probably be one more box of ammo there. It's an easy capture. We've still got enemies approaching us as this is going on, but I feel pretty confident that we can hold this location. Ooh! We might as well. Yeah, why not? Let's let's go get another round. All right, get that round. Get it. There you go there. Switching up your uh, your gun locations, lads. And one thing we should do is guys like John desperately needs some medical attention, so we're gonna move him over here. And I'm not sure how I feel about the cartoony animations. Uh, I didn't mind them in Bomber Squad. I, I generally mind them in most cases in games. Here, I'm, I'm kind of so-so on them. Uh, we'll just have to see how the game plays. So far, a lot of fun. I'm, I'm really liking it. Come on, get that ammo box. There we go. All right. Success. And it looks like we're out of fuel. <laughs> this is a problem. Uh, one we didn't prepare for. I'm not sure if there's any way to remedy that. Uh, let's let's take a look here. Combustibles, fuel. No, that's it. So I'm not sure if we should have gone for other locations here uh, or what should have happened, but that's going to have to be it. Back to the garage. I don't see how we could possibly win the battle. In any case, I am loving the game, man. So much fun uh, being able to power through with the tank. Obviously, if we knew about this fuel situation... Uh, we might have been able to uh, kind of do something about it, but I think right now our journey has ended. I was kind of hoping it would have ended right there immediately. What we could do is use the command points to go ahead and drop rounds on the enemy, but that's not really going to do much. Let's see if getting on the engine, maybe there's some sort of fuel canister in here that we're missing, but I don't believe so. Artillery smoke. All right, let's call for a small supply drop. Here's what we'll do. And maybe, just maybe, the supply drop will actually have some fuel on it. Oh, yes! Oh, that is pretty cool, guys. Okay, let's call for another small supply drop. Uh, one thing I'm also going to bring in is Heavy Rifleman Squad. So we can select where we want them to go. Um, yeah, I guess we'll go there. I'm still not seeing where that other green smoke is. Let's look for it. Let's get back. Get back on the driver's side. Damn it. There we go. Alright, 
Alright, let's go, boys. Now, that next green smoke should be close, but I'm not seeing her. Um, so, maybe we're going to have to go a little farther to find that baby. Yeah, they already just dropped on us just as we got the uh, supply drop there. Let's keep on moving. All right, so let's see what happens when we take one of these locations, for instance, guys. Now, this is not a supply drop location. I don't know. It doesn't seem to be working so well, huh? We actually have to go and search out those other green areas. And that's going to take us quite a while, I believe. All right, so what we can do is we can get back on the microphone... Well, the radio, pardon me, and we can call in for another small supply drop. We are hemorrhaging fuel pretty quickly, but as you can see, to get that supply drop in, we're going to have to wait a bit. Anyway, guys, I hope this gave you a taste, just a taste of this excellent game. I'm really liking this. Uh, obviously, if we wanted to, we could finish this mission, but I think that would probably take another 20, 30 minutes uh, to get the rest of the tea. Nonetheless... I have had a whole lot of fun here, and I'd love to play some more. So if you guys enjoyed, hit that like button, drop a comment down below, and subscribe. Also consider following me on my Twitch channel. That's the best thing you can do. And thank you so much to the company for uh, th passing me a copy to try out. All right, boys, I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.